Okay, my people, another gist make you take cool body this afternoon, this morning, I mean, this evening. It depends on which time you they watch this video like this. So, on top of the story, where I bring come your table today. Now, Lily and his sorrow don't come out, come give insight about waiting be happen for her marriage and how the thing take affect her emotionally, how she's feeling now, and that she now they open for new relationship. So we know say since this matter will happen for her marriage, since her marriage failed with Ubi Franklin, she never come out, come talk even with all the baby mama dragging things on social media. Lily I never come outside and say anything concerning what happened for her marriage. And um, it is always necessary, my people, because some people they need time to heal from what don't happen to them. So even with all the things we happen with Sandra. That is the baby mama of Franklin, her former husband, as we know. She still no come as I can't talk or yarn anything. But now, on the recent interview with Lily and Binget, with Tokyo Makiwa, she don't come as I can't talk some kind of things. Maybe say myself, the things which you talk, totally my belay, because then things happen to somebody, you know, even the woman person just a rush come as come the yarn anyhow. But the according to the source, they say Lillian Ogechi a solo has now offered an insight into what really happened with a marriage to Ubi Franklin. During a recent chat with Toki Makiwa and L and on her personality, Lillian Esoro said, Here is what people don't know. My marriage has been shaking from engagement. Some people always say, You shouldn't have gone ahead with the marriage at all. But when I think about it, it made, I made the right decision. Yes, they could say when you see your Pekin, where the marriage produce, you're supposed to be your belly. Now, my son is very important to me with everything that happened. When I want to feel sad, I show that social media is trying to push the narrative that marriage isn't important, but actually is. I was reading something and a working lady was saying it was until she got married that people started respecting her. The reason people see marriage as a problem is that we have lost time, we have time having conversations, go out for dinner anywhere and everywhere is on their phone when dinner is meant for you to see the environment and reminisce on things. People are scared for the beginning of relationship to let the other know about them. Kemi finally caused that in 2019 Ruby fights for divorce in an Abuja court, but the judge threw out the case on January 20. January 28, 2021, the divorce was finalized at the Abuja court with Lillian taking custody of their son, J.D. The couple had a lengthy divorce trial and this took a toll on Lillian's mental health. She slid into depression and had to seek help. She got help and decided to speak about her issues during a rare Instagram live session with Pastor Bolaji Idoru, the lead pastor of Advesta International Christian Center on Monday, December 5th, 2022. So, my people, now the story with that too. So, Lillian said this was the first time she was going to address her issue, and the discussion turned out to be revealing that she openly talked about her depression and said she took to get out. The CEO of Liaiko Group, which includes a spa business as well as a skincare brand, said depression and other mental health issues are not talked about as much as they should be in this part of the world. It is not something I think anyone should go through. I was there. I have had my fair share. To be very honest with you, I almost chewed the door. Hmm, this one tire me, oh, what people. This one tire me, this one tire me. She can't say again, say again. We should be mindful of the people we surround ourselves with. I just wanted to be away from everybody at that time. I'm sure many people noticed. At, the, at that point, I even stopped appearing on screen. I just lost interest in everything and everyone. I crawled into a shell that I, will, I am wondering where it went to now. The mother of one also revealed how a battle with depression led her to build a foundation in 2017 to help other women going through the same struggles. I'm depressed. I'm in my depressed state, I thought my life was entirely over. 
what more could I do? My acting career, how long can it sustain me? I just had a lot of things in my head. Hmm. As a single mom, I have extra baggages. baggage. How do I go about it? How do I move about it? This is something that God has bestowed on top of me, and I'm ready for this. And sometimes I found the courage, bless her soul. And my mom also played a huge part in helping me. She said to to she said to help herself. The 48 old actress said she threw herself into work day and night. She said I took on job non-stop. I took on jobs back to back. I was not relenting. I was working tirelessly like a mad person. I could count how many times I slept on my bed because it was from one set to another. Hmm. Wow, what people go through. I'm just here to encourage those who feel their life is over, wherever they think they are, even if they are single parents. Believe it or not, it's not the end of your life. It's something that I feel I need to tell a lot of people. Don't stay down. The first step towards healing, she said, was to forgive yourself. I'm now open to having a relationship and having an open mind because when you expect too much, they might end up failing you. So I'm going with an open heart and an open mind, new blessings, everything new and fresh. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, we are many goals. I will focus my energy on more creative things rather than the hurt, pain, and baggage. It's over and done. So my people, I like her approach. I like the fact that she's back on her feet. I like that she's emotionally okay now. So, so many people, so many people don't come out. So, you know, if you come out of this depression, they don't end their life. So many people don't go through a lot. And many people will see they throw them on top of the matter. Imagine the time they go through this depression, people, they throw her. And imagine all the things she go through. On everything she come and come talk, she never even see, say negative things about her ex husband, where they call Ubi, frankly. So, my people, not the matter be that way, see, and come and come share, they say she was the marriage, said the separation from her former husband really affected her. It affected her that she almost died and that she had to help herself with the help of her mom to come out, out of that depression. So, and say now nah, she did what she did open minded. Even if she's going to relationship, she did open minded. She know they expect anything from anybody, so that when anything any way happen, she no go they hurt. She will just focus her attention on other things where she won't do, and which I believe for my own head. Saying that the best way to tackle matter is that when something they hurt you or they bring you down. Put your energy on top of another thing, okay? If you put your energy on top of another thing, you will come out stronger. You will, so, you know, they let one kind of problem end your life or you will end your life on top of one kind of problem. So, my people, my just where I've been come giving that today. At this point, if you never subscribe to my channel, hit the red subscribe button below. Turn on your post notifications so that as I drop the hot video, you they enter your hand, okay? And I will see all of you now for my next one. Don't forget to like and share this video. I love you now. Bye.